The first two were made in his bedroom and closet, and then the sec or the first one was. The second one we moved to the shed. the shed in the See backyard. The shed. We bumped yeah. up to the oh. shed. We had oh to turn the air conditioner off to do like vocal parts. So yeah. in Phoenix, Arizona in June. So yeah. it was fun. Hey friends, it's your girl Emily Curl back here at iHeartRadio and today we're hanging out with the band Beach Weather. Let's give it up! I told you we do the applause. It's yeah, nice, it's, right? it's great. Yeah. It feels it's very nice. Yeah. Well, it's so nice to have you guys here. Welcome to iHeart and also Thank welcome to New York. Us. You guys are from all different places. Yes. When you come to the city, is there anything that you guys have to do? Anywhere you have to go? Oh, eat? Sean. The bagels, the yeah. dollar pizza, <laughs> the knishes, the pastrami. Yeah. We pretty much yeah, did all of those We checked things. all the boxes, yeah, yeah. I think, pretty quick, and then yeah. I was like in pain for most of it. So yeah. I then, still think dollar pizza is the best pizza. The best. It really was. Right? It was nice yesterday, yeah. yeah. It was a weird choice at like 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah, that was my breakfast. That was yeah, our yeah, breakfast. Was. But you got to do it. Yeah, yeah we had yeah. to do it. Yeah. 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 Well, so you guys, like I mentioned, are based in all different cities, yeah. but you come together. What is that like, you know, living different places, but then working together, making music together? It's awesome. It's like no time goes by when we go back home and then we come home and we're all goofy and like, ah, I missed you, you know, and we yeah. just get work done. But it's always worked for us. And it's kind of nice because we're so spread out where if like we need to go to L.A., he's there and then he's in Nashville. I'm in Boston. We kind of have the map covered and yeah. it's always kind of helped us out, I think. Yeah, we never get sick of each other. Though. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So when you're collaborating on music, like, do you kind of wait and hold ideas until you are in person or do you do a lot of Text Zoom recording? Text all day long, text? just like voice, voice memos. memos. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> just humming. That's what you have to look yes, forward that's to. Mostly that. what, that's mostly that. You'd be surprised. Album. Yeah. That's what it sounds like, yeah. <laughs> well, take us back to the beginning, Beach Weather. I want to, let's talk about the name for a second. Yeah. I love the name. Where does that come from? Just something fun. I really don't even I, I kind of remember that. We had uh, like a handful of ideas and that one just felt the most. We were literally just talking about the weather one day and at the time, all of us, none of us lived by a beach and we're like, that'd be nice. And like everyone likes beach. It's like, it's like really just that simple. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and it feels like cool with our band because we, Seems so fun and sunny yeah. with the band name and the music's kind of a little like darker, so it's a cool Oh, a contrast. nice like juxtaposition. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just switch it up. The name yeah. kind of leads us. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 And now how did you guys all originally meet? What was the, the first band meeting? From like past, you know, music things and different endeavors that we've done in the past and in kind of always been like making music, talking about music, been in the same circles. And then mm -hmm. this one just was like, what you and I sort of like, let's see what happens if you write some songs and it turned into this. and. We toured, we toured it for like three years, three and a half years, and then took a little break and kind of, I started a family. I have two kids now. And we kind of all got married and did our thing. Yeah. And, yeah, and then during the, I'd say like during the quarantine times, we started like texting voice memos, like, huh, back to each other. <laughs> again. Yeah. <laughs> again. And um, it just started like, it lit that fire again. And we were yeah. like, oh yeah, let's do a record. So we did a record and that, here well, we are. What was that, what was the first thing you created and how did you know it felt like it was time to maybe go back? That's a good question. I feel like it was, might've been a song called High and Driving. That's yeah. on our new record. It was yeah. sitting in our phones for yeah, a while. Yeah, it was sitting in the phone for a while. I think yeah, the, like a couple of years. It was oh, in there from really? like 2017. And then yeah. we like turned around and started going like, what happens if we were Work on this song and we yeah. did and it came uh -huh. out great it kind of lit yeah. that whole yeah. thing yeah well then you've had so much success and so many of your fans love it let's talk about your new music sex drugs etc yeah. first tell us a little bit about this it's funny because that song's like six years old yeah. and now it's, it's got a new <laughs> oh, life which is, is amazing yeah yeah, yeah. Really it's from our second yeah. ep which wait is what awesome. revived it a lot of things i think we got TV we had shows we had a nice placement on like yeah. a netflix show that kind of started it was called control, control z right okay mm -hmm. yeah okay. it's like a spanish netflix Show, yeah. Oh, wow. And okay. then it kind of helped, I think, branch over to the TikTok thing, and then that sort of yeah. helped it. And then we didn't even really notice the TikTok thing until like the last two months. We're like, wait, yeah. what's, what's happening? We already, yeah, what's yeah, we had already made this? the new tune. We made our record stuff, last so. June. So like, it was I did not realize nice, that. Yeah, nice, time, nice timing. It really TikTok is, cool. is so interesting because I it feel is. like it's opened up this whole new portal for artists. Yeah. Wow. Do you like that idea? Or I feel like some artists find there's a lot of pressure to release on TikTok first before you release yeah. on the music. Or, or, We've yeah. been having a lot of those conversations yeah. between ourselves because it's so new to us. Like he even joked about it earlier. Like we got big on TikTok before we even had one. You know, as a band, like, how do I use this damn thing? 
I yeah. make a TikTok? What's a TikTok? Huh? So yeah. I feel like we've been saying, as long as you do it in like a way that feels genuine to yourself and you're not like yeah. selling your soul to something that you don't want to do, like. It's just another outlet. It's just another outlet. You know? yeah, and it's, yeah. it's seeming so, to do and it's nice things for us, for us right now. It also right. lets like new things resurface yeah. too. Yeah. Like things that feel, it feels new for people because they can like take it and make it their own in their own way and get something out of it that it didn't have before. Exactly. Like it, it makes, means something different for now sure. than it did when we yeah. were doing it. Because there's plenty of songs that we even back in the day we were like oh man this song would have been cool if it got a little more traction so now it's oh, seeing, it like seeing that happen yeah. now it's like it's really yeah. cool i always am curious about tiktok too yeah. what is on each of your for you pages well what comes I, up I the think most? i'm the only one that has it on my I phone because I, 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 I got it i got it i only got it for this so <laughs> yeah I, uh, so what's on your for you page uh i don't think we follow anybody <laughs> do we i have no idea yeah. don't ask me. i mean it's probably all just like other other people's music like uh i don't know that and like i think i clicked food as an option yeah. how, how, how to make healthy food how do i make this <laughs> yeah and i'm that. like i'm listening you know yeah. <laughs> that's so funny yeah. well let's talk to music that you're just now creating unlovable yeah. it's coming yeah. out which is so tomorrow. exciting tomorrow yeah, yeah. tell us a little bit about this one it's gonna be an exciting day this was a cool song for us it's probably the more like rock tune that's yeah. on this new record but I don't know, it felt like it's just another timing thing. It's, it fits in that same world as sex drugs, but it's brand new and like, it feels like it's just right there with it. And I don't really know, it's a great song. I'm mean, really excited for it to come out. I think it yeah. like represents our band and especially where we are these days with, you know, like the whole resurgence with the band. Mm -hmm. It's really, yeah, it feels authentic. It's kind of like the and, big brother of sex drugs, et cetera. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, good, all in the family. That's a good yeah. way to say he, that. He yeah. just comes in, he's like, oh, you like <laughs> right. that? You know yeah. what I mean? So. See this. <laughs> yeah. What did that evolution look like of like how you were, you know, creating and, and releasing music in the first part when you first, yeah. you know, started the band to then now releasing this? Like, what was the big shift? The first two were made in his bedroom and closet. And then the set, or the first one was, the second one we it's moved the to the shed. the shed in the See, backyard. The shed. We bumped up to the shed. We had oh to turn the God. air conditioner off to do like vocal parts. So yeah. in Phoenix, Arizona in June. So yeah. it was fun. Oh my and then God. we bumped up to like a house studio for yeah. this last record, but there was no pressure. So, so you're so slowing up. Yeah, 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 we're climbing. We're climbing. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Did yeah. the house studio have AC? Yes, it did. Oh, That's good. The okay, upgrade. good, good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we didn't have to turn it off. Yeah, we oh, got to stay on wow, the whole you're time. Big leagues yep, now. Big leagues. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But we made that record really fast because it was just from a real genuine place. We just wanted to make music. It's been so long, and we were just like, no, nothing. We were just that sounds cool. This sounds cool. Put it on. You know what I mean? No, we did it in six days, and then yeah. there's six ten days? songs on the yeah. record. The whole record yeah. in six days? Yeah, there's just no pressure. We were yeah. just like planning on just making it and putting it out because that's what we've always kind of done. It was just a nonstop interaction from like nine to five every day like you said yeah like checking in the work job. yeah, yeah. And we wouldn't even like, take breaks for lunch we would just get it there and then keep working while we were like just coolest job i've ever had yeah i was about to say that's really great like a job but yeah it was yeah it was awesome we just felt like there was no pressure i think yeah. really and we just created something that we like yeah. love and when still are proud flows of flows you know? that easily yeah. do you feel like you're all just sort of almost in in the same state or in the yeah, same yeah you just ride away we kept yeah. saying it yeah it feels like you're just all coasting on the same yeah. thing and well, no one wants to acknowledge it because you might fall off no. you know what i mean yeah, it's just it's like, like everyone I sees this right rare, yeah right, no one's afraid to get their feelings hurt they're gonna be like that part yeah that part sucks okay well i'll think of something else you know so yeah so there's no like band fighting in the nine no it's like a big science project literally like we just get in and we're all trying to get that a and you know yeah or like a b or like a b see you'll do yeah. Um, for those people that are maybe just discovering your music, I've seen you on TikTok. How would you describe it to them, especially this new? <laughs> I've always said it's like a blacklight poster. It's like, <laughs> it seems like beach weather all sunny, but our music's kind of darker. The lyrics kind of have a more real, honest, like relatable, like internal struggle kind of feel. Yeah. But the music can be so like walk on the beach and then, you know, yeah. drink a little cocktail and it's fun. It's it's a little contrast to both. You know? <laughs> a little dark, a little alcohol. A little I love dark, it. little alcohol. Yeah. Um, sex drugs. <laughs> sex drugs. A little yep. alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, we thought before we let you go, we're so excited for new music. We thought we could get to know you all a little bit better. So I have a game called Most Likely to. So I'm going to give you a few scenarios, and you tell me who in the band is oh, most no. likely to do that. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Who takes the longest to get ready? Ooh. I feel like you take the longest to leave a room. Like, all right, <laughs> let's go. Cause you're like, you like piddle around. Yeah, Are it's you like, ready? he'll be sitting this the whole yeah. time. And I'm like, we're good to go, right? I'll be like stirring up a drink and yeah. turning on some music. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta set the mood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, who's most likely to sleep through their alarm? 
Oh, I'm up early. Yeah, so you again. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So are you guys all on the same schedule? Like, does that, like, so it's you're not- It's funny because, like, I'm morning boy. Usually, yeah. morning. usually we start the texts in the morning and it's still, like, 5 a.m. for him. I, yeah. have, I have to set my oh, alarm right, okay. on the other side of the room, or in my sleep, I will turn it off. Yeah, you gotta oh, get so up and cross to get up. Yeah, you have yeah. to get up and wake yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, who's most likely to guest star in a reality show? Hmm. <laughs> Huh? It's the hat. Yeah, it's the hat. yeah I can right see now. you stumbling it's into it right somehow. now. What right, show, though? That's the real question. Oh. Love Island? <laughs> oh my God, don't even start there. Love Island. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it back just for me. <laughs> um, okay, speaking of, of movies, television, who is most likely to die first in a scary movie if y'all were in one? Me, without a doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Why, wow, you just run? You just run for the danger? I am no, a blister. I got the blister oh. on the feet. You'd be oh, on the I ground, do, like, just dragging yeah, yourself. Yeah, the first. Are you just like, I'm leaving. not even moving. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Where are we like, going? I'm done. No, I'm staying. <laughs> yeah. um, who's most likely to forget lyrics on stage? <laughs> Since day one, often? all the yeah. time. Every really? Day. Yeah, How do you yeah. recover? I just forget them. <laughs> just like, everybody like, now. Yeah. Sometimes people in the crowd, Late night. I'm like, oh, you're right. That's it. That's <laughs> there it. There we go. So. Um, okay. Who's most likely to date someone based on their astrological sign? I feel like, you, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say Reeve. I mean, don't I even done yeah, that. Do you, don't look, up, do you look up compatibility <laughs> charts after a good date? Um, I stopped that after a while. <laughs> I grew up with a mom who was very into that kind of stuff. So yeah. I knew about that at a young age, but you know, not, not quite much anymore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. But you. Yeah, I do. But also, but also, <laughs> but also you. Yeah. But also the answer also is you. me. Yeah. Um, okay, so for this next one, I feel like, do you all have tattoos? Do you have tattoos? I am, oh. I am just boring, yeah. You don't have one. <laughs> you don't yeah. have any tattoos? Okay, I was going to say, who's most likely to get a spontaneous tattoo? <laughs> you're just We had this conversation this, this morning, actually. Oh. Yeah. We can keep this paper for you later. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. I showed them Roo. one Roo. that uh, a guy, a drunk guy in New Orleans drew for me. What was it? It was this little stick figure. Oh, and you got it? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, that's beautiful. Is that you? No, he just he just did a guy against a lamppost, and underneath it, it said "drunk again." <laughs> you should have got the. Well, drunk you didn't again. get the drunk again. Yeah. yeah. No, that's just too much. <laughs> yeah, the that was enough. Was enough. Yeah, was enough. Yeah. 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 Drunk again was too much, though. Um, okay, who's most likely to move to New York City? Ooh, I mean you, but like you say it every day. I I, I almost did before the pandemic stuff. I don't know now. Like, yeah, yeah no, a little toss I, 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 I want that moment in my life, but I do like the country and stuff. Yeah. So. so do you guys ever have plans on living the same city at any point? Or are you kind of like, uh, your... we talk about getting closer and closer. Like I'm talking about maybe moving to Phoenix, which is a little yeah, closer to you, you know, yeah. it's hard. I, and there's just like, I do think there is something special about what we have, like the dynamic of it's kind of interesting yeah. that we can like, it, it really pulls is. us together in, a, in an interesting way. It gets We've always like, done it this way, so yeah. at this point, we don't even think about it. Yeah. It's just, and group texting makes it so easy. They even, the you're in the same room. Yeah, yeah and the, the great voice memo. You should have heard the ones on the great record. The ones at 2 a.m. today, <laughs> just yeah. giggling. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> so um, we're good. so excited for you guys. Congratulations <laughs> on Love Loud tonight. Thank what you. else can we look forward to you guys from this summer, this oh. year? Give us the full rundown. We have a couple shows coming up in New York, end of September. We're doing one that just sold out with our friends in the Maine in a band called Valley at Pier 17. Right? Yeah. Oh man, Pier 17 yeah. is yeah. hot this summer. Yeah, yeah. It's September 31st, right? And then Earth, I think September 30th. 30th. September 30th. There's no 30th. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. I mean, it's someone else will be there, but we won't. September yeah. in September, we know that. And it's then the last day of September. August 1st, yeah. I think we're going to play a little yeah. show as well, the day after. Okay, sure, great. So lots to look yeah. forward to. Yeah. So the 31st, well, we'll play the show. There you go. Thank you guys again for being here. One more time for Beach Weather. And of course, thank you all for watching. Make sure you stream all of Beach Weather's music on iHeartRadio, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.